Name of the position is scaphoid, Stecker method. Seat the patient at the end of the radiographic table, with the arm and axilla, in contact with the table. Rest the forearm on the table. Place one end of the IR on a support, and adjust the IR so that the finger end of the IR, is elevated 20 degrees. Adjust the wrist on the IR for a PA projection, and center the wrist to the IR. Central ray, perpendicular to the table and directed to enter the scaphoid. Collimation, 2.5 inches proximal and distal to the wrist joint and 1 inch on the sides. Structures shown. The 20 degree angulation of the wrist, places the scaphoid at right angles to the central ray, so that it is projected, with minimal superimposition. Here we have the X-ray image of, PA axial wrist for scaphoid. Stecker method. Variations. Stecker recommended the previous method as preferable, however, a similar position can be obtained by, placing the IR and wrist horizontally and, directing the central ray 20 degrees toward the elbow. Bridgman suggested positioning the wrist in ulnar deviation for this radiograph. PA axial wrist for scaphoid, Bridgman method, C, capitate. G, trapezium, H, hamate, L, lunate, M, trapezoid, P, pisiform, S, scaphoid, T, trichedrum. Thank you for your patience.